welcome everyone. Uh, you don't even know what we're doing today, do you? I just walked in. You did. Okay, get this. We're comparing two guitars. I'm going to tell you in a minute what they are. But go ahead and play this one again. Play it up the next one. This one. Instantly notice a lot more depth of tone, a lot more bass in the sound. Mm -hmm. You've done these before. We've done all these before. You've done the 814. You've done the 814 V brace. So today we're just going to kind of compare them because we have the regular 814 oh, and yeah. the 814 V brace. I thought I noticed the black nut. So I, you've I, done you've done this before. We've mm -hmm. played it before, but we haven't actually done a side by side like the old Pepsi challenge. Like the old Pepsi challenge. And yeah. uh, what we'll do at the end of the video, we'll get a more in depth, you know, back and forth. A very different tone. I'm just going to say acoustically, uh, this one feels a little bit more focused. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not as uh, low end resonant as that guitar. Right. You know, despite what I presume is uh, similar specs on the inside. Yeah. Same woods. Same woods, different bracing. So, I mean, it sounds nice. It's not, I mean, this is, you can tell, uh, like all Taylor's, it plays great. Yeah, it's a great setup. And, um, yeah, no, it's it's a it's a fine instrument for, for maneuvering on. But I, I got to say, I'm going to go back to this one just because when I hear a guitar, what I'm, the thing that draws me, and this is just me personally, I, I like uh, some low end. Because to me it helps, it, it sounds like fuller, richer. Sure. Uh, and this one has, for whatever reason, it's, it seems to be a little bit more resonant in the lower frequency. <laughs> Yeah, maybe but that's, on this one you'd do something. But that's, you'd be playing that's something reflective different. of the style that I play. Which is bluegrass. So I'm, I'm, when I'm playing bluegrass rhythm, I want to hear that. I want to hear a little boom down there so that I can, sure, you know, keep uh, keep that rhythm going. Well, it's definitely an interesting thing. There's, uh, you know, there's a lot of talk about the V brace. I know it adds power. It adds sustain. What I like about this guitar is, uh, and you know, the reality of performing with an acoustic instrument is that uh, what you may want in an unamplified situation, which is a very present mm -hmm. low end, uh, is something you, you absolutely don't want when you're amplifying because that low end becomes very prone to feedback. It's hard to control. Yeah. So depending on an individual's application, sometimes this more balanced tone generally yeah. is makes for a much better performance instrument when you're going to go plug in, in because you loud. can really dial yeah. in the lows it's there if you want it and you yeah. can draw upon it but when it's naturally so present it makes it harder to control uh even with the dials that's yeah. been my experience so you need one for the couch and one for the gig yeah yeah i mean it's you know this yeah. could do well too it's really it's um yeah. It's just a matter of trial and error a lot of times, finding what works, uh, what's easiest. Well, it's interesting. It's interesting to hear the difference, and mm -hmm. uh, I think it's uh, going to be a great guitar. Yeah, I mean, again, I think, not that I'm hearing a huge difference, because let's face it, Taylor does a great job to begin with, with their engineering and setups and all that stuff. Yeah. So, uh, But I am still hearing you know, fantastic intonation on this guitar. It's great on this one, too, but you know, if some of the... Uh, you know, accolades that the V bracing has been yeah. uh, boasted about. They're yes. certainly true here with the great intonation. Yeah. Well, Quentin, as yeah. always, thank you. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching.